It's Tabitha from McCarper Manor. Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. We are so excited to do today's tutorial with you. We're gonna make some uh, Model Magic Air Dry Clay Friends. You excited? This is Asher, my six-year-old son. Do you wanna say hi? Hi. Hi, yeah. Ash, what are, what are some of your favorite things to do? Well, I like DIY. You like DIYs? Like, <laughs> That's shocking. Like He's not at your sense. Like sports. I like traveling around the world. Traveling around the world. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I also like food. You like food? <laughs> he does like some food. He doesn't like a lot of different foods, but he likes to eat the foods that he likes. So, what's He's your favorite food? He's a foodie. He's a foodie. Yes, he is. <laughs> what's your favorite food? Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. I mean, I think that's a lot of people's favorite food. Um, today, we are going to make some really fun little clay guys. So are you excited for that? Cool. Have you have you played with clay before? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of know that, but yeah. Um, thanks to Twisted Visions Media for putting this together for us, helping us every day here in the studio. The Happy Groundhog Studio, Missy and Sean for helping us. Um, we have a good village, and we hope you guys have a good village, too. We actually hope that the parents that you guys out there are doing okay. We really um, want to talk to you guys for just a second and make sure you guys are hanging in there. Missy and Sean um, and Tom and I, we, you know, we're couples that work together. We have worked together for a while, and um, a lot of you guys have gotten thrown into this where husbands and wives, wives and wives, husbands and husbands, you guys are all working together together at home and you're not used to this and it can be hard it can be really hard um tom and i when we first started working full-time together it it was a struggle we you know we do not we're not a uh, an arguing couple but there was tension there so we thought this morning while we were getting ready in the bathroom we thought you know what if we didn't have each other and this thing going on right now we it would be hard and stressful and we would be fighting so we wanted to let you know we've not forgotten about you we've not forgotten about the couples um we are going to start having date nights at home with mick harper manor they are going to start on you know we'll have them on a weekend night you guys can participate with us well it'll be a little bit more um you know not as not as kid centric i guess um i'll have a glass of wine he'll have a beer with him and we are going to make an adult project together um our first one is going to be april 3rd we're going to be doing acrylic paint pouring together um, tom and i have done this before together too it's a great date night it's a lot of fun so i hope you guys are excited about that and looking forward to that we want to take care of you too you can't pour from an empty cup so we are going to be offering you guys some really cool ways to connect again we want you guys to stay in love and feeling in love through this hard time so we're here to help with that so april 3rd we're gonna have more details on that this weekend but stay tuned for that um you know again about art supplies we want you guys to be encouraged to use what you have so i'm going to show you what we're using today but we want you guys to use what you have on hand we want you just making and creating whether it's exactly what we make whether it looks very different whether it's something you know that you're just painting along while we create just get your brain moving let's do some creative things do you do you feel better when you're being creative yeah what's your favorite art medium buddy what do you like to do the most i like doing drawings you like drawing yeah so i mean even if you're drawing a turtle while we're sculpting one or whatever let's you know let's keep our brains moving so today the supplies that i have here in the studio that were on the supply list you may or may not have gotten um we have model magic and that's just an air dry clay you could use regular clay you could use modeling clay the, the oil-based clay you can use regular old play-doh anything that you're going to use to just get molding we have um we have like these cool little teflon sheets that we use here at the studio they're basically just something that's going to keep your work surface not super um sticky and it's it's kind of like industrial wax paper it's like the baking sheets that you can bake on that keep things from sticking um, we just like to use those around here for clay and for things like that so this that's what we're using but you can use paper you can use wax paper you can use a plastic cover for your table you can use nothing at all because it doesn't stick too bad it's just you know a nice little extra precaution we have some add-ins like some little 
pipe cleaners, just in case there's something you want to throw in with those. And we have little rolling pins that we just have on hand here at the studio, but you guys don't need to have those. Yesterday I talked about the power of a hairspray can, just some kind of cylinder that you could like roll stuff out with too if you wanted to roll. So we'll leave, you know, we'll leave him hanging around in case somebody needs to use him. But again, use the supplies you have on hand. A note of good news is that Amazon is starting to deliver the non-essential things again. So we just got a big delivery of the things that we had ordered for some supplies that came in today to our house. So that's encouraging. Amazon is um, hiring people constantly to try to get the stuff in here. They're trying to make plans to um, get the other non-essential items into the warehouses too. So if you're still waiting on supplies, be encouraged that that stuff is coming in. We are also going to spend time this weekend getting the alternate um, places that you can purchase supplies from linked for us. Um, many of you have mentioned that you would love for us to continue using the affiliate link so you can support us. And that's why we're trying to get um, set up with some of these other suppliers. With all that being said, get what you can locally. If you have a local craft store that's still open, please, please use them. They need your love more than ever right now. We also today linked um, one of our places here locally, the Reuse Center in Cincinnati. We have people donating art supplies there that you can pick up here in Cincinnati. Check locally to see if there's a place that you can get some stuff locally too, because we all just need to use what we have right now too. Don't feel like these affiliate links or anything like that matter more than the process of you creating. So let's just uh, use what you can make with what you can think outside the box get creative sometimes when you don't have the right supply on hand you make some really cool stuff and that and that makes an awesome product too so let's say hi who we got we have some fun places tuning in today yeah we've got susan from north carolina third day in a row hey susan third day in a row that's cool it's like streaks is that what they call it on snapchat these days that's like a streak right Isla has brought her brother Ethan, who has Down syndrome. Oh, hi, Isla. Yeah, really we have about that. we have such a heart for Down syndrome. I like that you've that you've cued in on that. The Terras are watching from Michigan. Hey, Terras. We've got Lauren and Carrie from Illinois. Hi. We've got Kyla and Gavin from Ontario. Hello, Ontario. Uh, back for day five uh, from. Fredericks, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Day five. That's so exciting. Uh, they, we've got a hi from New York, <coughs> Manhattan. Hello, New York. I'll be on a podcast from New York tonight, so that'll be fun, too. It's called Craft Hangout. Aiden and Landa, Landon turning, tuning in from Connecticut. Hi, guys. It's their birthday. Happy birthday. And we have some twins that we're having a birthday today, too. I said happy birthday, too, earlier, so there's... There's so that. That's cool. Lots. High Point, North Carolina. Awesome. Denver, Tennessee. Yay! Georgia. Hello, everyone. All right. Very, very cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, with this model magic, um, I know you might have seen on the um, supply list that I mentioned white too. The reason I suggested that you have some white is because in our house with four kiddos, sometimes one little tub of this green is not going to be enough for what you want to do. So I really like to take the white and mix some of the green in with it. Um, Asher has requested that we make what today? What did you want to make today? A turtle. A turtle. That's his favorite animal. So we're going to start with a turtle today. Um, we are going to be hanging with you for an hour. So hopefully, maybe we might get through more than one animal, more than one thing. And Asher wants to start with a turtle. So he is showing you right now what we do. Um, on the top view, Tom, can you see that? Can you see Asher's hands, what he's doing? You can kind of hold your hands over this way, buddy. Over towards Mommy. Hold them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Hold them can over you, towards So Mommy's Asher plate. is using our family trick of taking these you know really rich colors and we kind of like to take a little bit off of that and kind of blend it with a little bit of white and we're going to mute it down a little bit so that everybody gets some and you know it just stretches your supplies a little further we really like the um you know we really like to stretch it make make these things more mileage more bang for your back. Whoa. If people are using <laughs> oven-baked clay at home, will so, they be able to do that? So, yeah. Oven-baked clay, you can always mix with white. Um, oven-baked clay is just like this. You can always mix um, whatever you've got. Oven-baked clay is what we're going to use next week for our polymer clay charms and miniatures. 
oven baked clay is amazing. It's my preference, but sometimes um, it's a little bit more expensive than for everybody's budget. So, you know, use what you've got. Oven baked clay will definitely work. Might just be on a smaller scale. With oven baked clay, you bake per quarter inch. And um, if you've got something pretty big, you might wanna hollow out the bottom. You can, you can burn the exterior before the interior is completely solidified on those. Not that it completely matters, but um, you, you wanna make things a little bit thinner and a little bit smaller with the oven baked clay. And again, it does cook per quarter inch. So your increments are like 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the supplier. We like Sculpey, it's 15 minutes per quarter inch at their, uh, their suggested temperatures. You're already getting a lot of feedback that people are really excited about the date night. Yay! I hope that you guys love it. It's not going to be as, uh, I don't know, cutesy as we do here. I do I do love to make the kids crafts, but we might we might laugh a little more on the uh, on the date night. So <laughs> Parents need a night, too. You parents, know. you guys do. It's important. Yeah, and we have... Um, Sean, Missy's husband, is going to be playing music for us, so it's really going to feel like a real date night. He's going to be doing like a like a happy hour with us. He'll be playing guitar. So, Sean, we are so excited to have you do that. So it's going to be a cool cool night for us parents. Um, even if you're not a parent, if you're just a couple and you want to, you know, join in and do some things. If you're a dog mom, if you're a single person, then you and your, you and your, you know, self, you and your cat, you and your fish, you want to. Just adult time. <laughs> Adults. <laughs> adult time. So um, we hope you guys look forward to that. We're going to, we're going to try to do a few of these. Trying to keep everybody sane. Mental health is a big one right now. So, all right. How's your, uh. How's your clay coming together? So if you see, I'm just, you know, I'm just mixing this and pulling it. The coolest way to get it to integrate is just, you know, take your chunk, take a little piece off to the side, and just kind of smash them together. You can twist it. Twisting it kind of helps too. Go ahead and remind people what animal you're doing since you're not doing the ones shown. Uh, we're doing a turtle because Asher requested a turtle. And we're, you know, we've got, we've got a lot of time and these kind of build up quickly. So... I might be able to throw in um, the narwhal or some other things as we go too. We're just all building together today, but we're gonna start with a turtle because that's Asher's favorite and Asher's the guest of the day. We treat our guests, right? Take care of our guests, yeah. So, you know, I'm just stretching a little bit and folding it back in and that's really integrating that green and with that white it's going to give us more of a pastel, like a little, I know, a creamier green. But, you know, just keep molding and mixing until that white is kind of not showing up streaky through there anymore. It looks like taffy. It is like taffy <laughs> a little bit. You're right. It's fun. And Asher's got some cool swirly technique going Asher does, on. Asher does, yeah. So Asher, you know, if you can see what Asher's doing... Um, he is kind of, he's rogue. I mean, he does his own thing. He's, he's having fun. He's going to play with us here, but he's, he's going to build his own turtle at his own pace. So I want you guys to do that too. Always be encouraged to do your own thing. I'm just here as a helper. Okay. You don't have to follow my rules. There are no rules. All right. So now that I've got a nice green, I'm going to make a ball. This is going to be his little, we're going to start with his core, his, uh, his shell area. So I'm just gonna kinda roll it together in my hands like a little ball. I'm gonna take my rings off too for this because they just are in the way. So, I mean, you can still see a little swirl through there. I kinda like it, actually. But I'm just gonna kinda flatten the top down a little bit. I'm gonna use my little thumbprints to kinda like make the spots that a shell would have, you know? kind of some of these little impressions. So I'm just going to use my thumb to kind of be my tool here to kind of mold it down. And I'm kind of like making him flatter. That's his little shell, right? And we're just going to kind of make a domed up little flat guy. Do you have a tip if people feel like their clay might be snapping and not stretching? 
your hands are what's going to warm it. Your hands, the, the warmth of your hand is going to break down those polymers. So the warmer your hands are, the more that it's going to break that down a little bit and move a little smoother for you. If your clay is um, older, if you're using the if you're using polymer clay, the, ov the oven baked clay, and your clay is a little bit older, those dry out and they do snap and they're a little bit harder. Polymer clay is a lot harder to work for bigger things like this. So for miniatures, that's why I suggest tiny amounts. You can do tiny amounts. Bigger things like this, you're just going to have to work it a little bit longer and harder. And you might have to come back and watch this video later if you want to make exactly what I'm making. And that's okay. Um, the model magic brands are different so if you're using actual crayola model magic um it can be the, the faster you pull it kind of snaps right same brick of clay i'm just applying a little bit less pressure and pulling and it stretches a little bit more right so it's kind of like i know i know all you guys love slime i got some feedback on the slime yesterday but yeah it's the same thing like if you pull slime like really fast it'll snap because those polymers they're just chains they're like little you know they're little molecules that are friends and they're holding hands and they're stretching if you pull them apart fast then they're gonna break but if you do it kind of slow and take your time it stretches so yeah um you know brands are gonna vary polymer clay isn't gonna stretch so you're just gonna have to work it a little bit so yeah back to this little turtle dome So we've got a little, you know, a nice little baby mountain, squashed volcano, whatever you would want to call it. Um, if you wanted to like pick up, you know, one side and kind of like roll it on its edges, kind of like roll it around, make it like a little funnel or something like that, that'll smooth it out if you wanted more of a smooth shell. Do you want me to do a sea turtle? You love sea turtles. Yeah, okay, so I'll do a sea turtle. So we're gonna make him a little, even a little bit more squattier. We're gonna give him a bigger shell. What'd you say? You don't have to whisper. It's okay. So I'm actually making actually a sea turtle. You're making a sea turtle too? Okay. I love it. We got a fun tip from Lauren. She checked the Crayola website. And yeah. It says you can use markers to tint the white model magic if you don't have the right colors. You can. You can use acrylic paint too. You can actually take a tiny dip in there in the white. If you break it up in sections, um, you can take a little bit of paint and um, go kind of what we did. Just drop a little paint and start mixing through there too. I like the paints a little bit thicker. Um, it gives you a little bit more vibrancy. I also like the, um, I really like the idea of painting after you're done. This white will hold, will hold paint. Food coloring? Uh, food coloring could work too, yeah, yeah. So we are gonna add, you know what, do you wanna give them? Oh, you're just going to town, you do you, baby. I think I'll give him some like yellow legs. Let's give him yellow legs. And again, I'm just gonna pull a little bit of this off and I'm going to mix it with the white again. But there are a ton of, ton of fun things you can do to tint your white. It's a very nice, you know, material that you can It'll take a lot of pigment in any way. You could probably throw watercolors in there. I know that the um, the Derwent blocks that I love, you can shave those down and add them to almost anything to make a sort of paste or a paint. So I know you could add that in as well. All right. So let's give him a little head. You know what? Let's let's give him his legs and his arms first, and then we can focus really on his little head. What'd you start with, buddy? Your flippers? Yeah. So I'm taking a tiny little chunk off, and I'm going to make a little ball, and I'm going to pinch it down. And then once I pinch it down, I flatten it into like a little pancake. I'm going to kind of like taper that back, right? And I'm going to make that look like a little, like a little paddle, like a little a little arm for him right so I'm gonna put that up under his little body and that's his first little arm and again with the next one make sure I have something similar size to the first little ball and I'm gonna take that and I'm going to 
pinch them down. I might have gotten a little bit more than last time, so I'll do that. Put that back over there. Pinch them down. And then make another little arm too. So when I make that little arm, I'm just pinching at the back of what I've got held here. And I'm just kind of like using my fingers together, the tops and the bottoms, to just kind of shape them as I go. Your fingers are your very best tool. I know some of these kits come with some supplies, um, some shaping tools, and that's for like fine detail work. These little fingers that you've got are the best tools. So yeah, they're like kind of like little banana, little banana arms. And if they don't look the same, that's fine. You just kind of, you know, get them on in there. That's his front. I'm gonna give him two back, two back legs. How are we doing out there? Good. Everybody's doing great. People are loving it. Coming Good. up with lots of fun, mixing of colors. Yes. And doing different kinds of animals. Yes. Third little appendage here. We're just going to take the, we're going to make a shorter one. You know, their little back legs are a little bit shorter than these front ones. So we're just going to kind of. Throw them back there too. It's looking great, bud. Just a reminder, we are using Model Magic. Yeah, so it's Model Magic um, air dry clay, and it's you know it's really light and foamy. You can see when when the things are dry, you just kind of you know they're pretty easy, uh, light, pretty resilient. So that's what we're using for this project. You can use Play-Doh, you can use anything you've got on hand just to mold with us, to create with us. Um, we've had some people using the air dry, or the oven bake clay and other air dry clays. Yeah. Some more Model Magic, what color would you like? And you, you don't have to whisper, you can talk. It's okay, what would you like? I would like like some white? white more white sure yeah. there you go bud thanks you're welcome i'm just working on these eyes i know you're doing great are you having fun yeah yeah much fun yeah do you want to say hi to anybody out there do you have any friends that you miss from school that you want to say hi to or anything hi you want to say their name any any of your best friends that you want to say hi to while we're on here hi Ken. cannon Hi, Cannon. Hi, Caleb. Caleb. What about your teacher? You say hi. Your teacher? Hi, Miss Harrison. <laughs> Miss Harrison. How about any other teachers you miss right now? Hi, Miss Harris. Hi, Miss Hensley. Miss Hensley, yeah. All right. So now we're going to make a little head. And I'm just going to give him, you know, kind of a little, I'm going to make his head a little bit longer because I'm going to have it stuck underneath this little shell right here. So we're going to kind of mold this out a little bit. And it's going to be kind of like a little, I don't know, like a little peanut, like a little log, you know, his little head's going to be. His little nose will be kind of closer to down here. And we just kind of want to give it a head with the beginnings of a neck. Okay, so this one you're just going to make like a more bulbous part on the outside. Okay, and then a flatter part that can connect underneath his shell because you want that shell to lay across here and connect to this. Okay, so we want that to connect to it. All right, and then we just want to like kind of make sure all these little pieces are staying on here. And tips for parents, caregivers out there, um, if it doesn't stick well and something happens to come off um, somewhere along the way, you can always use some regular school glue or whatever to tack these right back on. It holds up pretty well. You can use hot glue, you can use anything you want. These pieces glue back together so easily. So yeah, now we have a little, now we have a little turtle move in here. How you feeling? Good? Good? Okay. How's your Asher's turtle? He's looking great. 
Asher's little guy. He's so, so sweet. Does he have a name yet? Squirtle. Squirtle. That's perfect. No, no, actually squirts. <coughs> it actually squirts? Okay. That's cool. All right. I did forget a little tail. I'm going to give my little guy a little tail. I'm going to roll a little tiny piece here into a little ball and then kind of like roll the tip of it to make like a little cone under there. We've had a couple uh, questions about whether or not they are allowed to be using sculpting tools right now. Totally. They can. I think my biggest tools right now are my hand. I use tools for fine detail work. Um, you're not even going to see me use tools on this video. I use my hands. I like to let you guys, you know, use the cheapest things you got. And that's these, these digits. So this, the tools are fun. Play with them, learn with them, see what you can do. Um, if you want to use cost zero dollars. <laughs> he said these materials cost zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Your hands do cost zero dollars. <laughs> God made that is how God made you. You're right. So we are going to um, work on his little face a little bit. So I kind of pinched the bridge of what would be his little nose. And then I'm going to use my thumbnail and I'm just going to give him a little, a little mouth across here. Okay. Now, if you have some of those cool tools at home. Or a toothpick. A, or a toothpick. Yeah. It's a great time to use it. Or even a butter knife. A butter knife. You guys are great with the alternatives here. That's uh, that's what I love. So it just kind of gives them a little mouth, you know, there. Um, you can use whatever you have on hand. I am going to just um, make like a little eye socket here for him with my nail. Just kind of, you know, create some impressions with my pinky finger. You guys probably have tinier fingers than me, so you can get lots of nice details in there with that. But I'm just kind of like creating some little recesses in there for him. And then I'm going to get some black clay. Can I borrow some clay? Yeah. Big guy, thank you. you can pour this. Oh yeah, that's so gray. Good. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of the black straight out of the container because I don't wanna really water that one down or dilute it rather. Um, I'm gonna take a tiny, 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 tiny ball. Like, I mean, so tiny, just the littlest, tiniest. And I'm actually going to split that even in half again. It's going to be like on my finger, just a teeny tiny little black piece. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put it in this little dip that I made for the white, for his little, the recessed part for his eye. And people are asking, how old is Asher and what grade is he in? You want to tell him? I am six years old and I am first and I am in first grade. Yes. Yes he is. You love school, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Most days. Yeah, but are you a morning person? Yeah, I'm a morning person. You think so? I love the morning. I love <laughs> it doesn't always show, but hey, I'm I guess eating egg and waffles. <laughs> he does love eating egg and waffles. <laughs> okay, so we were talking about this this morning the funniest things that are happening with all the kids being home and like, you know, our kids eat breakfast at school a lot of times or like I'm not even up with them when they, eat. when my oldest, um, Abbott, who was on yesterday, he is a seventh grader. So I'm not even up eating breakfast with him when he is eating breakfast. No. Do you know what he has been doing? Hang on one second. Do you know what he has been doing? I learned that he thought you were supposed to microwave Eggo waffles this morning. <laughs> he has been hit, taking these little floppy waffles out. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? Tom's like, you do realize that you can toast these, right? And he's like, oh, well, that would probably make them better. Yeah. Yeah. Make some crispier, not soggy. Yeah. Do you guys have any really funny things like that that you've caught your kids doing that, like, maybe was flying under the radar for a little while? <laughs> I Funny totally. thing is, he kept eating them. He, yeah, he mean, liked he, them either he, way. So I guess he, he has acquired a palate for them after doing them for so long that way. Oh, big eyed Jim. <laughs> He's perfect. He's perfect. He has really good eyes. So now that I made my little black eyes, I'm going to go back in with this tiny, teeny tiny little bit of white. I used the same amount of white that I used 
for one of the black eyes, I'm gonna split that in half and I'm gonna make two teeny tiny dots. You can also do this with like a, a white paint marker after too if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna give him a little bit of light to his eyes, a little bit of shine. And you just want to take the teeniest, tiniest line. Yeah, the teeniest, tiniest dot of white. See, kind of makes him look a little bit more. Uh, Tina vibrant. has answered your question. It looks like she found somebody eating straight up butter. <laughs> <laughs> like the house. like the bear from the Lorax, he's in the refrigerator. Uh. <laughs> I love it, Tina. Well, Welcome. Even though I used to do that. Yeah, Asher. Asher loves some butter. Somebody else got caught. Somebody putting chocolate milk in their cereal. <laughs> oh my goodness. That right, depends on what kind of cereal, I guess. Like, <laughs> like there you go. You got cooking it, a hot dog for five minutes. <laughs> oh, that's that's. That's going to be a problem. Yeah. Well, Asher does love a burnt hot dog, but probably not that, that oh, burnt. Oh, that's like fried <laughs> and chewy. Yuck. I love that's it chewy. You oh. love chili? Yeah, okay. I love chili. Chili's good. I love chili, he says. I'm going to just put some little, like, purple details on this guy's So you're, back. while you're working on some details, um, people have some curio curiosity about the clay and when will it dry out and how long can we leave it, be working on it before it dries out? Just those kind of questions. So with Model Magic, um, the, the dry time varies, but you'll be able to handle it probably 24 hours later. I, I think I wouldn't really try to take it anywhere for maybe like 24 to 48 hours, like transport it to give it to somebody as a gift. It's beautiful. You're doing a great job. Um, the dry times are really about, um, you know, when it's firm to the touch. The the core, the inside of it might take might take a few days to dry. Um, Play-Doh, if you're going to let your Play-Doh dry out, it'll dry out, but it's going to crack. So don't be upset or sad if that happens. Um, you know, make another one, make a new one. Or you can just crumble them up after this, put them back in the tub, and make some new tomorrow. Does that pretty much cover it, you think? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So we're going to make some little spots on his back. Do you want to make some spots on your turtle's back? Yeah. Okay. I give him some spots. And we're just going to roll some balls and push them down on top. And, you know, and when this is dry, you can do cool things like, you know, add glitter paint to the top, like glitter glue to the top of it to shine them up. You can seal it with, um, I know when we talked about those peg dolls, we talked about ways to, like, protect them and seal them up, too. You can always get a little bit of, like, a, a water-based polycrylic, polyurethane thing to cover them with. Water-based, um, oil-based would be way too much on this soft product, but um, a water-based thing would always work on that, too. Are you guys enjoying the process? Are you liking this? Does it feel just like Play-Doh time, or are you guys actually learning some stuff? They are. They, everybody's loving it. I think people Good. are excited to see uh, you build and do the show the narwhal next. Yes, we are going to do the narwhal next. He was our tease there. I think yes. everybody can't stand it. Yes, <laughs> we're going to do the narwhal next. And then the tree frog next. You know, I don't know if we'll make it to the tree frog today. Maybe we'll do that in another video. Would yeah. you like to do another video eventually about the tree frog? Yeah. I think we can work that in. And people have requests on other animals. What's a tip for them if you don't get a chance to so, show them the animal? Yeah, um, I think the best thing to do is just look at the anatomy of the animal. It's just like when I was telling you guys how to draw. We're just going to break it down piece by piece. We're going to break it down, you know, into their body sections. So if it is a bear, you're going to give him, you know, he's going to have a trunk. He's going to have a big body. He's going to have four arms. Just start building those pieces. Body arms, legs, head into, you know, either blocks, chunks, or, you know, small spheres, things to start breaking them down piece by piece. And then really get a picture, get something and look at the actual animal that you're working with and see what they look like in real life. And then you can just roll with that and, you know, work on it, build on it. This was not something that I perfected overnight. I've loved sculpture actually i wanted to major in sculpture um and you know that's missy's medium she is a sculpture a uh, stuffed sculpture fiber 
sculpture artist. Where you know she she does all the self sculpture. Self sculpture. I, yeah. I was a sculpture major in yes. college, so that's my. So yeah, these things. I, I definitely see three dimensional easier than two dimensional. Yeah, you know, and some things. Some some people are better at drawing. Some people are draw- better at painting. Some people are better at sculpture. You're going to find your groove, and we hope we help you to find some some new things explore some new mediums that you didn't really play with before had a lot of people saying that they have never used watercolors before and that they're loving you know the ability to watercolor with that sharpie with those boundaries that they didn't even think that that was really an option before i mean that's all like illustration is really i mean we're just that's what i do so it's the way my brain thinks sculpture things miss is probably a lot better at you know looking outside the box on things like that So all of our brains work differently. That's why we're trying all these different mediums to find what you love and what you like. And even when we are allowed to all get back together, what you want to have your friends over to do and what you want to, you know, which activities you want to take your kids out to learn more about, you know, go to an art class, go find things like that. We're going to be doing videos for a long time. I feel like not just in this situation. I feel like we're going to, I feel like we've really found something cool that a way that we can connect with just, with more than just our community so we're excited to bring lots of different things to you guys so yeah i'm already getting started on my oh my gosh you're you're like ahead of the game all right so you know we're just gonna we're gonna leave our little turtle at that he's he's happy he's got some spots he's he's a cute little guy um we are gonna be finished with him for now and we are going to roll on over to making a narwhal can we see Asher's real quick? Yes. Give yours to Mama. Mama Tate. Thank you. So here is, what's his name? Big um, Eye Jim? Squirt. Oh, Squirt. Oh, squirt. Oh, okay, so we squirt. went from Squirtle to Big Eye Jim to Squirt. So I like Squirt. I think he's really happy. I think he's doing good things. All right. You ready I, to make an Arwal? I already had the... Like, I, I have I like some that. extra black, so I just, like, put it into a fish. Food. And you can, yeah. So I'm going to take this white that I have, and I'm going to add a little bit of black to it to kind of make a gray. So we're going to do this again. We're going to take our we're gonna take our gray, our white clay, and we're going to make a gray. So we're going to take this black, and we're going to run it across here. And we are going to just kind of start incorporating that together. If you already have a gray, feel free to use that. These little gray tubs that we have are not enough for Asher and I both to make a narwhal with. So we're gonna make some gray. And you will see mine breaks a little bit more in the beginning while it's while it's still cold and my warm hands aren't on it. Just keep working with it. Do you have any more Marvel Magic? More white? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Maybe Missy can grab that for you. Thank you. Look at you, buddy. You're already started on I know. Now. He's on yeah, it. Yeah, I already had the base of it. Put it over in I Mama's spot and let, let everybody see it. I just, like, turn it into a fish. Yes. Put it over in Mama's spot and let, her, let everybody you. see it. Oh, let's see. Asher's already working on his narwhal, guys. He's uh, he's coming along quite nicely. Uh, we're getting some other funny feedbacks. We got a uh, yeah. eating tomato soup out of the can. <laughs> And eating frozen waffles. <laughs> I love it, guys. I love it. You make me feel so normal right now. <laughs> I felt like everybody in our camp had just gone, like, off the rails. I was like, oh, my goodness. Life is falling apart. Um, I'm glad to see that and we're Dan- not the only funny one. And Daniel's brother dips his bread in salsa. <laughs> yes. Like toasted mm. bread or, like, what? Like just, a- like, regular white he bread? bread. I'm oh, my go gosh. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I think I seen somewhere on there that somebody caught uh, their daughter or their son eating swallowing a goldfish. <laughs> like um like the the chip or like the cracker, cracker hole? I don't know. Or, like, we're gonna need cracker, you to elaborate on that. Yeah. If that was you swallowing the cracker a goldfish, goldfish or a real goldfish. Or we're gonna need we're gonna need to we're gonna need to hear more about I'm this. interested. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now I've got some gray. And, you know, I'm going to take a little bit more of this gray out of here just to give me enough to make some fins and flippers with here. That's actually a pretty close match.
And if you're adding some of these um, small packs that we had the link for, and you notice that the texture is a little different, it is. These ones that are in the tiny little packs, they, they seem to be a little more stringy and squishy. So um, when you mix them in with that white, when you get it through there, you'll have just like a middle of the road texture. I hear you chuckling, Missy. What's <laughs> what's going on? There's some is it, is getting, it? I don't know if people are desperate or just bored out there, but we're eating sour cream out of the jar. Oof. We're eating frozen meatballs, mac and cheese with oranges in it. I mac mean, and cheese with oranges in it. Ew. There's a lot of stuff happening out here. I, I eat normal mac and cheese. Somebody just we're ate a bagel in and vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. You guys, I hope you have access to a store, and these are just, like, <laughs> weird things that are, yeah. This is kind of like a sweet color. A sweet color? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. A vanilla mix of chocolate ice cream. I really like Is it all the food color. talking, or all the food we're talking about making yeah. you want to make some ice cream? I like it. All right, so for this narwhal, I'm taking the gray, and I'm making, like, a little chubby cylinder, okay? Just making, like, a little... A little coil. You guys that have had clay work in art class at school, we're making a coil here, a really chubby coil. So we're just going to take our clay and roll them back and forth to make just a chubby little cylinder. And that's kind of how I start my art wall. Okay, just kind of chubby little cylinder, and then I kind of like round his little face out. He doesn't have a flat face. He's just now he's kind of looking like a really long egg, like a little tube guy. And any ma animal you want to make, you would probably start in a Yeah, summer. I feel like a lot of animals. I mean, the turtle, we started out with like his main, I think just break the animal down and look at like its main shape. If it is, if, it, if it's like a turtle that's very prominent shape is round, you'll start with a circle. If you start with, you know, a cylinder for the core of anything like a bear or a monkey or something like that, you're going to add arms and legs and all that stuff to it. So you, you can start with your center. It's a really good point. So yeah, the narwhal is coming together now. So now we're just going to start kind of like tapering his little, his little body down a little bit. So he's in the whale family. So he's got his little, his little bottom part coming together here and we're going to give him a tail. So he's just, you know, a little a little cylinder that we've kind of squished down to the end and just really tapered that end, okay? And that's the top view of him so far. We're going to make a tail. Any fun facts about narwhals? This little guy that's actually like fingernail material, right? Yeah. Their tusks? It's a tooth. It's a tooth, right. Right. And they can even have two tusks. Two? Yeah. A dueling. I've never seen a two-tusked narwhal. Have you? I don't see mm -hmm. a lot of narwhals in person, but... No. Yeah. I mean... That would be like a two-horned narwhal. Yeah. The yeah. unicorn of the sea. Well, fun fact. Fun fact. It can, it can sleep in icicles with water in them. Really? It can sleep like inside like... Like ice... Like icebergs and stuff. Oh my yeah, gosh! Yeah, they're they're an Arctic animal. Yeah. Yeah, they can they can swim in the water in the iceberg. Yeah. And fun fact, they can actually sneak under the iceberg and eat people. They can bust <laughs> and, yeah, and they bust can bust holes people. up through the ice. They can yeah, eat they people. Do. I mean, I don't really think they eat people. I'm you know, <laughs> I think they may be pretty something. desperate. Probably just just saying hi. Yeah. <laughs> Probably just saying hi, not eating people. Hello. Probably they're gonna poke your butt, but no. <laughs> no. Here you go, guys. This is where we go rogue. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's kind of so. like a year in the whale. Yes. So we are going to make his little tail back here now. That's what we're working on. So it's gonna be like a triangle, right? And we're just gonna kind of, kind of taper it down. He's got like a little, a little flat tail down here. And we're gonna connect that to his little body. Please do not hit the dislike button. <laughs> Please do not hit the dislike button. Is that what you said? <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so fun, Asher. Yeah. I'm supposed to be. 
<laughs> you are supposed to be. That's your personality. So you'll see this, you know, this narwhal looks different than the first one that I made, but they all look a little different. It's kind of like my chili. It's never the same anytime, but it's always good. A couple years ago, apparently Cheryl, uh, Charlotte did some research and narwhals accidentally eat rocks sometimes when they're oh. trying to get fish from the bottom of the ocean. They have rocks in their belly. <laughs> that that means they have now they're gonna poop gray poop. <laughs> <laughs> there you yep, have it. Yep. There you have it. That's how these things transpire in the mind of a six year old. Just like what we did with our little turtle, we're gonna make some uh, we're gonna make some little dot flippers. Yeah, and we're going to do dots, too. I like your dots that you've got working over there. Flippers and dots. Do you have a fun fact for narwhals? I'm actually thinking about a dodo bird. Um, yeah? So the extinct dodo bird, they actually ate rocks. Dodo birds eat rocks, too? Yeah, no, well, they actually eat the berries, but um, the rocks would, um, in the belly, they would squish up the berries so they could digest them. Oh! Also an animal that ate rocks on purpose, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To help them. Yeah, for digestion. That's super smart. A lot of birds still do that. Yeah, yeah. They need that, I guess, the rocks for the agitation in their gut to kind of process their food. All right, so we added those little, you know, the little flippers that we had made, just like for our turtle. He's looking great, buddy. You want to show? Oh, he's looking great. Looks very cool. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's how I'm doing so far. I just You're doing so well. All right, I'm going to add some white dots to the top of mine. Can I have you on your bottom? And I'm going to scoot you right back here, buddy boy. We used the spinny rolly chair to get him up a little higher so you guys could actually see him. And um, rolly chairs are a lot of fun to wiggle around on through this. So, you know, we're, we're making it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, you know what, back up. Let's do his eyes first. I'm going to do, again, same thing I did with the turtle, a little black piece, break it in half, to have two tiny black pieces, kind of, you know, like that. Now that I've got two of them, I'm going to, again, make a little recess right here with my finger. I'm just going to kind of put that in there, and then I'm going to sit that black right on top of there. All right, and that's what that side's going to look like. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Take my pinky, make a little recess. If you have one of those rounded ball parts on your a tool with a rounded ball part, you can use that too. That's what that's for, is to kind of make little recesses. And then uh, poke him in there. So he's got two black eyes. Mm -hmm. Not like he got in a fight with him in the narwhal, but two actually black eyes right now. And we're going to add some white highlights to that. Same thing we did with the other little turtle guy. Just take some teeny tiny spots of white and brighten those eyes up. Apparently narwhals also get change color as they get older. Do they? Trying to tell how old they are by what color they are. Oh, that's cool. I, I like that I can't remember fact. if it, somebody mentioned the color, but I don't know if, if anybody can tell me. Is it, do they get darker or lighter when they get older? I can't remember. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, these are hard to hang on to. There we go. That other little tiny white dot in his eye. Right up on top. Ta-da! So he's cute. He's hanging out. I'm going to use my thumbnail again to give him a little mouth. I'm just sliding it across the front and kind of just like giving him a little mouth that way. Ta-da! And then I'm going to give him some white spots. Kind of the opposite of the one I did over here. Oh, Kate, Kate has chimed in and told us they get darker as they get older. Oh, cool. So my teeny tiny guy would be like a little teeny tiny old guy. <laughs> I'm going like a baby. Yours like is a baby, gray. yeah, because he's light. He's gray. That makes sense. That's appropriate. 
So you can just, you know, continue adding some little details to them. I'm just taking some tiny, um, <coughs> thanks for covering your cough, buddy. Um, some tiny little spots and details, you know. He's great. Do you want me to share him with everybody? Look at this guy. He's so sweet. You did a great job, Asher. I really love him. Are you proud of him? You should be. He looks great. What was your favorite part of making him? I mean, the dots. The dots. I love the dots, too. The brown dots. It's kind of still what we're working on here. So, yeah, these little details are... Uh, going to be what makes him extra, you know, what brings him to life. Teeny tiny dots, you could do different color dots, purples, blues, whatever, whatever floats your boat or your narwhal. I think with all the dots I'm doing, he's starting to look like a whale shark, but I still like him. Yeah. All right. Anybody not making narwhals? Anybody making other things out there? All sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Unicorns. Oh yeah. We're making different color narwhals. Um. Yes. An elephant. Oh, I want to see that. And speaking of which, I want to see all of everything you guys created today. I want to see it with the hashtag made with McHarper, so that we can easily find your creations and. We're gonna have a special prize for two kids um, or their parents or, you know, whoever. But we're gonna have one of our kindness shirts for you. Kindness is my jam, that's this week's giveaway. We're letting the hashtags go through tomorrow and we will choose somebody out of our hashtags by the end of the weekend. And then Missy, the Happy Groundhog Studio is donating a Manny the Manatee. He will not be my exact one. She has another one that she will be donating. He will be um, given to one lucky winner too. So we're gonna have two people that get a prize for using the hashtag this week. Next week we'll have two more prizes. So we're gonna do it every week, I think. Does that sound fun? What's your favorite stuffed animal that you have from the Happy Groundhog Studio? You have a lot. <laughs> What's your favorite? The turtle one. Your turtle sea one. Wind. Your sea turtle. Yeah. yeah. Um, so with these pipe cleaners, we're going to go in and we are going to give him a little horn. Um, I have, you know, sparkly white ones. We have any, you know, basic white ones, anything, whatever you want. Um, you can, if you have scissors or clippers, you can do that too. But actually that that metal will get brittle enough if you just bend it back and forth over and over and over, and then it'll just kind of break off. So if you just, you know, kind of take them, bend them where you want them over and over and over, that metal will eventually get brittle enough to where it will break. But then at that point, you can just take your little piece and you can kind of jab them in there and then just let them sit. And that's how he will turn and take, go, go the distance on the narwhal sculpture. He is narwhaling in full effect at this point. Would you like a pipe cleaner for yours or you love your, your sculpted? I, I like my sculpted. Asher's is sculpted, so we'll show you the flip side of that one. Asher's is sculpted, so you don't have to have a pipe cleaner too. That's just something I had laying around. So yeah. All these different ways to make a really cool, fun little friend. Um, we have really had a great time making these with you today. So we hope that you guys show us what you've made. Um, Asher and I look forward to finding what you guys have made later on. Um, we will be looking at the hashtag made with McHarper on Instagram and on Facebook. And I know a lot of people have asked if you can find us on YouTube as well, you can find us on YouTube at this point. It is 
made with McHarper's, the YouTube channel. It's taking us about a day delay to get these uploaded. They are huge files and it eats up all the bandwidth. So we usually do them overnight and then we've got to, you know, add the details in in the morning. So usually a day delay on those, but yeah, you can find us on YouTube. Um, we are still super excited that you guys are continuing to bless us and help donate to our cause. We're currently working um, with a friend who is helping us fabricate our little art library that we are gonna have here in Milford. Um, people from Cincinnati that wanna do these activities but maybe don't have the resources and want to join along, um, we are so excited to be able to be putting this together to help them. They're kinda like the little libraries that you see outside of schools or the little pantries. Um, we are making a little art library. Our friend Susan is doing a build for us with, um, she's welding some legs and a nice roof and we're gonna put it all together and we're gonna have it outside the studio for people to pick up the supplies that they need um, we are throwing a lot of funding towards that and trying to keep the studio open during this time or trying to keep us moving while the studio is not open during this time our ways to help right now are Venmo at Tabitha dash McClung and our PayPal is paypal.me slash McHarper Manor so those are the ways that you can help right now we are really super excited about this project for the little art library. We'll let you know as soon as that's completely ready for our local friends where you can start picking up. Um, we're getting supplies and getting the build ready on that now. So it's probably gonna be you know, at least another week before that's ready, but we're excited that it's moving forward. We're excited for the date night. April 3rd will be the night that that happens. 9 p.m. Eastern is when it will be live. It'll be um, you know, a fun date night. We hope you guys are taking care of each other and taking care of yourself. Uh, stay healthy. We will be off for the weekend. We will be joining you back here on Monday. Um, you never know. We might do some some fun little pop-up live over the weekend. But we are committed to being back here on Monday at 1 p.m. Um, this week's projects, I'm sorry, next week's projects are going to be Monday. We have acrylic painting on canvas. We're going to do an underwater view. So we're going to do a cool underwater scheme. Tuesday, we're gonna do paper marbling. That's with the shaving cream and the watercolor. You love the paper marbling. I went in and did that with your class last year, right? Yeah, so paper marbling is awesome. Um, the watercolor resist process we're gonna use on Wednesday is gonna be like a little bit of wax um, from a white crayon or a light colored crayon underneath the watercolor that we're gonna use. It's gonna be like batik on paper. We're gonna show you some cool ways to use that. Thursday, we're going to have hand-sewn monsters with Missy. Missy is going to be here next to me, and we are going to be making some hand-sewn monsters. We want you guys to use whatever you have on hand for that. You can use gloves, socks. Um, the details for that are in the supply list as well. Friday, we're going to play with polymer clay. I know a few of you mentioned that we um, that you were using polymer clay today. That's awesome. We're going to use it again on Friday, and we're going to make miniatures. Um, and we're going to talk about how to make charms and ways that you could turn those into earrings or whatever you would like. Um, the place that you can find the supply list, week one, two, and three, are at mcharpermanor.com slash blog. So thanks so much for tuning in. Did you have a question, Tom? Uh, no, just be sure to mention you're on the local news, too, on oh. next week. On yeah. Fox so, 19. Yeah, so we did we did a little bit on the news this morning, um, <laughs> teaching the anchors how to draw Butterball the cat. A lot of you guys have loved Butterball, so um, Mr. Frank Marzullo and Jessica tried to draw Butterball today. I think they did great. Um, we'll be back on the news again next week, too. We're going to try to get like a recurring... They are trying to get us a recurring time slot so that we can play with everybody that way, too. So, yeah, that was a fun addition to my morning. Tonight we'll be on the craft hangout podcast it will air next week so lots of ways to learn and play with us um you know while we can't hug it out remotely so thanks so much for joining in um we will see you again next week thanks for coming on asher you guys have a great weekend oh 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 we did want to talk about what we are going to do as a family this week and what missy and sean we are 
going to go, we're going to take sidewalk chalk out with us this week. We've seen some awesome stories where people are taking sidewalk chalk with them on their walks and writing cute notes to their neighbors and friends. We're going to be doing that and we're going to decorate our driveway as well so that people have some fun inspiration when they are driving by or when they're walking by this weekend. Our our weather just got nice. We're at like sitting at like 70 degrees with sun, which is crazy different than what we had over. No more rain. No more rain. So, <laughs> you know, be encouraged to do fun stuff like that. If you do something cool like that and you decorate your driveway send us a picture of that too we want to see it all we want to see all the ways you guys are creating so enjoy the weekend take care of yourselves take care of everybody around you and we'll see you next week bye guys week one two and three are at mcharpermanor.com slash blog so thanks so much for tuning in did you have a question tom uh, no, just be sure to mention you're on the local news too on oh. next week on yeah. Fox so, 19. Yeah, so we did we did a little bit on the news this morning, um, <laughs> teaching the anchors how to draw Butterball the cat. A lot of you guys have loved Butterball, so um, Mr. Frank Marzullo and Jessica tried to draw Butterball today. I think they did great. Um, we'll be back on the news again next week too. We're going to try to get like a recurring, they are trying to get us a recurring time slot so that we can play with everybody that way too. So, yeah, that was a fun addition to my morning. Tonight we'll be on the Craft Hangout podcast. It will air next week. So lots of ways to learn and play with us, um, you know, while we can't hug it out remotely. So thanks so much for joining in. Um, We will see you again next week. Thanks for coming on, Asher. You guys have a great weekend. Oh, 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 we did want to talk about what we are going to do as a family this week and what Missy and Sean, we are gonna go we're gonna take sidewalk chalk out with us this week we've seen some awesome stories where people are taking sidewalk chalk with them on their walks and writing cute notes to their neighbors and friends we're gonna be doing that and we're gonna decorate our driveway as well so that people have some fun inspiration when they are driving by or when they're walking by this weekend our our weather just got nice we're at like sitting at like 70 degrees with sun which is crazy different than what we had over no more rain no more rain so (laughs) You know, be encouraged to do fun stuff like that. If you do something cool like that and you decorate your driveway, send us a picture of that too. We want to see it all. We want to see all the ways you guys are creating. So enjoy the weekend. Take care of yourselves. Take care of everybody around you. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.